Good day, everyone, and welcome to uh, Elite Currency Weekly Trading Ideas. After some break, we are back with Trading Ideas. And uh, quickly before I start, I will uh, show you what I think uh, it might happen uh, with, uh, with the trades this week. The market has been very choppy, and this is sometime, uh, sometimes uh, what markets are. So we need to be always careful with the risk assessment and with risk management. Uh, before I start, have in mind that everything you see and hear from me is my personal opinion only. And now we are getting back to trade. So the first thing that I see is long on the euro dollar if the market uh, breaks higher. So pay attention, guys. Okay, euro dollar might be going up if the market breaks uh, 0 0940 with a bullish candle, or if the price hits 0 0880 to 90 then the market will go up. Currently, I have a short in the dollar Swissy, and the dollar Swissy is a trade that, I'm, that I think will go in profits because we see a clear downtrend move, a clear rejection here, the signal there. And also, if you take a look at the four-hour time frame, four-hour candle made a new low uh, this uh, week, so it needs to uh, last week, so it needs to be retested. So this is... Uh, the potential target and weekly candle, guys, is also very, very, very bearish. So I think that uh, the dollar Swissy is going to go down, and that means euro dollar up. Uh, so uh, dollar Swissy down, euro dollar up. Uh, regarding GBPN, of course, uh, I always go with uh, stop loss is above the ATR projection high. And uh, targets are at the low 2584. You need to, of course, manage your trades. Many times it happened to me that my trades are in profit. And then if I don't uh, move my stop loss, they end up in loss. So you guys need to protect your trades. Move your stop loss if you are in profit. GBP dollar, totally fake moves. We had a nice up move signals from my template. One, two, three. And then this big candle faked it all. So this is a fake out made by big institutions. Guys, this is totally out of the sink. Okay, this is big institutional traders spiking stop losses that have been put in place for all those swing traders who were shorting it. You see market went down, it made a go along signal and then market totally went out of the sink. Totally went down. So all these up moves have been negated. So at this point, I advise not to trade the GBP dollar, not GBP dollar only, but GBP crosses. So sometimes not having a position in the market equals to having a profitable position. Same with GBP care. I had a long position there, but this fake candle obviously is the same as the candle on the uh, GBP dollar. You see big candles. You think that the trend is up, but effectively it turns lower. Uh, it's at support now, but I would say I don't, I'm not touching GBP pairs, guys. Uh, regarding uh, XAU USD, uh, I think that we had actually a move, nice move here. I will uh, show you right away. Give me just a few seconds. Uh, if I see, yep, yeah, here, guys, one hour time frame. Uh, basically, what we had is, uh, I will put my, let me see if I have the template here. Uh, yeah, I don't have it here, but I have the indicator. And this can be also part of my Camarilla, uh, make the uh, full course that I'm probably will do maybe. If I see it correctly, I might do it in uh, next month as a bonus for traders uh those daily highs breakouts because when you trade daily breakouts you can easily make up some uh, nice nice uh trades so uh for me xau usd is let me show you so we don't need this we don't need this so only i need my ecs indicator so ecs indicator here guys and I will tell you right now. So what we have here is effectively, let me quickly just delete these trend lines. Totally don't need it. 
and will tell you right away i will delete all of this and this is it now refresh and this is it so basically what we had is a break out of the daily high here this is a daily high okay and what can happen is uh, on 15 minute time frame we had a confirmation that the market is going to go up how because the market went up then this was a retest and i entered long here in my opinion there is a big chance that the gold might be continuing towards projection high here and that gold will turn from downtrend to uh, uptrend so if this uh low stays here we will we will be having a nice move in gold towards 1720. so i have a long position here and si similarly i have a short position in the dollar swissy so two position now uh, uh gold long and dollar swissy short and this is a break breakout of the daily high towards the atr projection high it can be 1720 easily guys because here we can see that markets are effectively uh going towards in between this zone here okay yeah i mean i am bullish you might follow me agree on this uh i am bullish because last week if you remember uh i had also a short and the thing here is that uh, this trade is intraday it can go up tomorrow or it can go up even today if this high is taken out rest assured that we will be seeing this zone in play this will be the zone to take profits so i entered here and uh, definitely yes last week shorts were good but this week i think that we might have a change of trend because this daily high has been taken out i'm careful but if this happens then uh, tomorrow we will also have long setups on the dollar swissy uh, side i'm i'm running uh, the short position uh, i will show it right away wait So on the dollar Swiss uh, side, I'm, I'm, uh, I am uh, bearish. So I think that dollar Swiss should drop and that it needs to retest the low that has been set up uh, previous week. Uh, this uh, short setup has been initiated by Camarilla Magni EA here exactly, also taking account four hour and weekly candles. GBP crosses, I won't comment because I wouldn't trade GBP crosses right now. They're totally choppy. Other trades that I was watching, and unfortunately I didn't trade, is Euro New Zealand, guys. Euro New Zealand was a very good trade in the morning. Uh, I will show this right away on my template here. Uh, it was a very good... I was waiting for this to happen, but I didn't. The move already happened, so I cannot go long now. But uh, let me just show you the signal on my template. This is it. This was the signal and the price moved 70 pips up. So unfortunately, I don't have a signal now. Market is retracing. But I would probably go long on the Euro New Zealand if the price drops here. Other than this, guys, uh, I'm not touching CAD pairs now. I'm not trading CAD pairs. I had New Zealand or CAD, which ended up in a loss. So... CAD is totally also out of the thing. So GBP crosses, CAD crosses, I'm not doing it. And the only uh, thing that you can maybe think of is Bitcoin. If you like Bitcoin, uh, it has a long setup here. So I'm not trading Bitcoin just to let you know, guys. You know that already. But in my opinion, uh, Bitcoin should go up towards uh, 91.60 and eventually going towards the highs because we have an uptrend now guys in the bitcoin so this is the signal on my template and it could and it probably will go up because these signals are very strong when this happens i'm i will i will probably start taking bigger risks because these are the strongest signals when i have the circle usually all these circles are very 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 profitable so bitcoin is long I hope, guys, that this helped you. Uh, this webinar is being recorded. It will be uploaded to YouTube channel. If you have anything to else, anything else to say, ask, you can ask me now. These are my trading views. And uh, so far, market has been chopping for two weeks. 
uh, sometimes this is the thing how we need to go and this is why i guys always say trade with lower risk guys lower risk because when you build up your account you can risk from profits you never know how the markets will be and in this situation they are not ideal fortunately i'm in a process of making also uh, will be making probably an expert advisor will include money management that i use and uh, maybe in the future we'll also have fully automated trading from my method i wish you everyone uh, safe trading day enjoy cheers and trade safe see you soon guys